hello dear students today i am making a video on the topic of sentence in this video dear students we will discuss what is a sentence and how many types of sentence so in this video about sentence everything will be discussed so let's start the topic without wasting much of your time so first of all dear students we will learn the definition of a sentence sentence a group of word a group of words that makes a complete sense that makes a complete sense is called sentence is called sentence so dear students this is the definition of a sentence a group of words and uh, the important thing is that a group of word that should be in a complete sense means complete sense should be there if there is no sense so it cannot be called a sentence you have to you have to just uh, remember the one thing that there should be complete sense okay on the condition it can be called a sentence for example for example i complete my homework i complete my homework daily so dear students this sentence is giving the complete meaning so its sense is complete that's why we can say it is a complete sentence but dear students if we change the order of some words for example if we write the sentence like this homework homework daily complete my i okay so as you can see in this sentence all the words are written as above but the difference is in this sentence the words are not arranged properly that's why this sentence is not giving a complete sense so we can't call it a sentence okay so you have to cross out in front of the sentence this is not a sentence clear dear students so you have to uh, remember this thing ki complete sense should be given if there is no sense it can it cannot be called a sentence now we will talk about the types of sentence types of sentence sentence okay so dear students there are four types there are four types there are four types of a sentence which one the first one is assertive sentence assertive sentence it is also called declarative assertive sentence is also called declarative sentence so you have to remember okay this sentence is also known as declarative sentence <laughs> second is interrogative 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 sentence the third one is imperative imperative sentence next number 4 exclamatory sentence 
exclamatory sentence. So these four types of sentences are there. And now we will discuss these four type of sentences in details. So let's start the first one that is assertive. Assertive sentence. Yes, now it is visible. Assertive sentence. So, dear students, what is an assertive sentence? So, assertive sentence is a statement. It is a statement. Statement. that ends with a full stop that ends with a full stop that's clear it's just a statement we don't have to answer the assertive sentence okay we can say or we can hear assertive sentence just a statement okay for example i go to school i am i'm just flying kite I am eating food, they are going, okay, so like this, they are just statements, that clear, dear students, it doesn't make any impact on us, we can also say that, a certain sentence doesn't make any impact on us, we just have to listen the sentence, okay, because it's, it, it, is, it gives the information about something or somebody, it gives us an information about something or somebody and uh, we can say just a statement that's clear and it is also of two types the first one is affirmative it is not visible yes okay the first one is affirmative It is also called positive sentence. You might have heard about positive sentence. Positive, clear sentence. And the second one is negative. Negative sentence. So dear students, what is positive? Positive sentence that, uh, that does not have not in the sentence. Okay such sentence that are positive that does uh, means that uh, doesn't include not no or not is called affirmative or positive sentence and the sentence that have not is negative sentence okay means when we reply in no so that sentence can be called negative sentence but if we are replying positively to so that sentence can be called affirmative or positive sentence and dear students now we will discuss how to make assertive sentence so there is a rule for assertive sentence let's discuss that rule any sort of assertive sentence you can make easily by using this rule the so first of all in an assertive sentence we have to use subject clear after that helping verb helping verb and then not not and after that main verb main verb this is action verb bhi bolte hain dear students main verb next is object and other words in the end other words in the in the end we have to use full stop okay because in the definition of assertive sentence i told you it ends with a full stop okay so in the end we have to use a full stop that clear so this is the rule of making assertive sentence whether it is affirmative or negative in both the sentences you have to use subject first of all and then 
it depend on the tense okay then helping verb and not depends on the tense which tense you are using clear so i will discuss that about the tense in next video but uh, in this video we will dis we are discussing assertive sentence so this uh, this rule this formula is used subject and then helping verb then not main verb object and others that clear let's next next aata hai aapka number 2 interrogative sentence next is interrogative as you all know very well interrogate that means to ask something interrogate means to ask something so the definition is included in its name interrogative means interrogate in this sentence dear students just ask a question so we can say very easy definition it ask a question it asks a question very easy definition it asks a question or we can say a sentence that ask a question is called an interrogative sentence okay so this is very small definition and you can learn it very easily there will be no problem at all so let's move move ahead so it is also of two types dear students as assertive sentence is also two types and interrogative sentence is two types the first one is simple interrogative simple interrogative what is simple interrogative so dear students the question is of two types we can say that the question is of two types so two types questions like uh, uh, one type of question is that which answer is given in yes or no and the second and the second type interrogative is which answer cannot be given in yes or no so simple interrogative a sentence a sentence or a question which answer which answer can be given can be given in yes or no yes or no is called simple interrogative is called simple interrogative sentence simple interrogative sentence that's clear second type second is double interrogative double interrogative sentence so uh, it's uh, as you know very well double interrogative means a sentence a sentence which answer which answer can be given in sorry cannot be given cannot be given in yes or no is called double interrogative sentence double interrogative sentence so is that clear dear students two type of questions are there as you know uh, first question is uh, do you go to school daily if someone if somebody ask question to you uh, do you go to school so how will you answer that question you will definitely answer in yes or no that clear but if somebody ask you why do you go to school what is your father's name what is your name so is such kind of question is that uh, which answer you can't do in yes or no you will have to uh, you will have to give the reason okay for example if somebody ask you what is your name so you will have to tell him or her your name that my name is uh, jo bhi hai etc x y z what's your name so for example 
वॉट इज योर नेम योर नेम ओके सो बोथ इंटेरोगेटिव वेदर इट इज सिंपल और डबल एंड्स विद द क्वेश्चन मार्क एंड्स विद द क्वेश्चन मार्क क्लियर डे स्टूडेंट्स नेक्स्ट इज रूल ऑफ इंटेरोगेटिव सेंटेंस हाउ वी विल मेक अ सेंटेंस ऑफ इंटेरोगेटिव सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स देर इज वन रूल दैट यू कैन यूज एंड यू कैन मेक द सेंटेंस वेरी इजीली बाय यूजिंग दिस रूल सो लेट्स सी द फर्स्ट थिंग वी हैव टू यूज क्वेश्चन वर्ड क्वेश्चन वर्ड ओके क्वेश्चन वर्ड इफ any and after that helping verb question word helping verb plus subject plus not and uh, after that main verb main verb then object and after that others others and in the end if you have to use question mark is that clear dear students so in this video is this video uh, we have discussed two, two types of sentence because the video is getting longer that's why i can't i can't make it have more and more so uh, next two sentence i will discuss in the next video imperative and exclamatory sentences i will discuss in the next video so for now you just study those two type of sentences that is assertive and interrogative and i have i have told in this video about these two sentences for uh, rule also there definition types and rule how to make a sentence so dear students thank you